this is Renee and welcome to my own little world. Happy November, it's time for another bullet journal video, but first let me show you the bullet journal theme that I made for October. As you can see, I haven't been filling out my habit tracker that much, so, but I've been pretty busy in October, so please forgive me for that. And this is my monthly overview. I still really like this theme because it's very practical, yet it looks very cute. Then onto my playlist. I actually made a playlist on Spotify with all of my monthly playlists that I put in my bullet journal so far this year. So if you want to check it out, it's in the description below. And of course I will add onto it once another month has passed. Then this is my weekly overview and as you can see I also dotted down the prompts for Peach Dober which I participated in for the month of October which is a drawing challenge that I made a few videos about on my channel if you want to check them out. And then it is time for November. And the only thing that I'm going to use is this Zebra Sarasa clip pen in kind of the orange yellow color. November is actually my birth month. And my birthday is on November 17. And so I decided to become a bit egotistic and make this theme all about my birth month <laughs> and uh, for this theme I decided to go with my birth flower which is if I'm not mistaken this is like according to Google the birth flower of November is a chrysanthemum if I pronounce that correctly I had to google that as well because I I'm not good with flower names but these are very pretty flowers I especially like the Japanese one or at least I kind of searched up reference pictures because I wanted to draw them later in this spread so I prepared myself and decided to look up some reference pictures because I don't normally draw flowers that much. So this was kind of out of my comfort zone, but I wanted to make them look as close to the actual flower as I could. Um, in the end, I decided to also freehand a bit. So some of the flowers are probably not what the actual flower looks like in real life, but this is the idea that I kind of went for so I searched up some different pictures of the flower and I found out that there were different kinds of the chrysanthemum and I especially really like the Japanese ones because they have these petals that are really curly and they really like flare out and it's so beautiful and they it opens up the whole flower and I'm not a flower kind of person to be honest I can appreciate them but I'm not like super into floral things and stuff like that but I really love the way these flowers look so I just had to draw them and I went for kind of an orange yellow color because yellow is my favorite color so this whole theme is kind of about me <laughs> a bit.
And this is what my monthly overview looks like. I decided to keep it like minimalistic and I wanted to keep it practical. And then we're moving on to my November playlist. And as always, I kind of use the same format that I always do. So I just speed this process up when editing this video because <laughs> I mean, it's the same for every month, basically this whole year. It has been the same. Then on to my weekly spreads. I decided to keep my weekly spreads also kind of practical. I really valued the practicality and the minimalistic approach for this theme because my other theme was kind of heavy with decoration. In my opinion so I really wanted to I wanted this theme to focus on the flowers that I was drawing and I don't really know where I got the idea to make my days of the week in kind of like folders with like tabs on them but I th think I'm not sure but I think I saw it somewhere on Pinterest or Instagram and it really inspired me and I really liked how it looks. It, it kind of reminds me of like opening up a file cabinet and just browsing through the files and I even though it it doesn't really necessarily have something to do with the flowers or the birth month but I really liked how it looked so I just went for it. And then we're on to the next week. And because I was looking for so many different reference pictures, I really found a lot of different looking flowers. And I'm at some point, I'm not really sure if it is actually the flower, like the birth flower uh, that I'm drawing. And I also, at first I, I feel like my sketches and also my inking in the end um, for the first few flowers that I drew is kind of stiff because I kind of had to get used to drawing the flowers but later I decided to freehand more like I said and I in the end kind of ended up with a lot of different looking flowers <laughs> so like I said I, I don't think that every flower in this particular bullet journal theme is a chrysanthemum. And I know that it really feels like a crazy thing to do after finishing a drawing challenge like drawing 31 days after another uh, to make a bullet journal theme that is highly focusing on drawing again but I really enjoyed doing this theme I really had so much fun it's in a way it's also outside of my comfort zone because I mean it's really min minimalistic which is something that is so not me <laughs> and it also is really cool to kind of push myself into 
drawing flowers because I basically never draw flowers. So it was a lot of fun to experiment with that. And then we're on to the last spread of November. And time to show you a quick flip through of the end result. I really hope that I, I fill out my habit tracker more this month. That's one of the goals that I have. Like I said, I really like the monthly overview. It's really minimalistic and I feel like it's going to be very practical. You can have everything you need in one look. And the same kind of goes for my weekly spreads. I really like that there's this particular space made especially for the flowers. There's also enough space for me to write down everything that I need. And I feel like I am really going to enjoy working with this theme for November. And I just had to draw a kind of birthday hat for my birthday. Like on the day of my birthday. I couldn't resist. And what I really like about this theme is that every spread has kind of different flowers or different looking flowers and it makes me feel like it's less repetitive because of that and that's what I really like. And that was the final spread. I hope you liked this video. Stay hydrated, stay tuned, and until my next video, bye!